the great God and our Savior. What's his name? Jesus Christ. Go back to Isaiah. Back to Isaiah 45 and verse 21. That's what? A just God. He's a just what? A just God. He's a just what? A just God. Who is he talking about? And the Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a just God and Savior. There is none beside me. You come jump on Pastor Jennings with two saviors. Look unto me. Come jump on Pastor Jennings with two saviors. That's right. Who? Everybody. <laughs> That's right. Look unto me. God talking. Isaiah 45 and verse 22. Look unto me. And be ye saved. What? Look unto me. Look unto me. And be ye saved. Who said it? Look unto me. Who said it? A just God and a Savior. Look unto me and be ye saved. That's right. He said, for I am God. A just God and a Savior. And there's none else. Look at this just God is telling you to look to who? Look unto me. And what else? And be ye saved. All the ends of the earth. For I am God and there is none else. Hallelujah. Do as God say, look to him. Look unto me. And be saved. That's right. He said, for I am God. And there is none else. When he said there's none else, there's no other God, no other just one, no other savior. That's right. But now look at Titus 2.13. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our savior. Who is it? Jesus Christ. No. But what did Isaiah say? A just God and a savior. There is none beside me. Read all of it. A just God and a Savior, there is none beside me. What else? Look unto me and be ye saved. Give chapter and verse for that. Isaiah 45, and that was at verse 22. Look unto me. And be ye saved. Who? All the ends of the earth. For I am God. I am God. And there is none else. None else. Amen. Amen. So when the Bible says Jesus was standing on the right hand of God, right. you took it literal That's that right. Jesus is sitting down or standing Dang. on the right hand That's of right. the Almighty. That's right. Well, that would make one Savior standing next to another Savior. To, that's right. That would give, I'm simply calling you his name. His name. That's it. Two saviors in heaven? <laughs> Come jump on Pastor Jennings. Right. I'll take you on a 1932 ride. That's what? right. After I shoot you with scriptures, I'll roll you out on the sidewalk of your false church. Isaiah 45 and verse 22. Bible's talking here. And there is no God else beside me. No God else. No God else One beside me. One man wrote me and said, I debate you. Mm -hmm. He said, I got revelation that Jesus was a God. And Jehovah is the God. Ain't no Bible say he was a God. No. You are a lie. That's right. That's right. My Bible tell me he's the great God. That's right. Not a God. The great God. Listen at this. Titus chapter 2, still at verse 13. That's what? Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God. The. Not a God. The great God. What is it? And our Savior. What's his name? Jesus Christ. Come jump on Pastor Jennings. I'll make you lick them two gods up. <laughs> That's right. And three gods and four and gods. gods. All of it is from hell. That's right. We got one Savior. Hallelujah. That's it. One. That's right. That's one Savior. And there is no God else beside me. Look at God talking. Isaiah 45 still in verse 22. Many works. Diversity of Diversity operations. Diversity of operations. But by the same Lord. That's right. All right, let's go back to the epistle of John. Let me finish out that. Amen. Epistle of John is so much that's on me, but <laughs> I'm ready to work. Second back, chapter. Back in 1 John chapter 2 and verse 15. Begin at verse 14. Quickly. At verse 14. All right. I have written unto you fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. Yes. I have written unto you young men, because ye are strong. Amen. You know when you're strong, no false teaching can root you up. No. No. None. 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 One man wrote me and said... Uh, he quoted Isaiah 9 and 6. Unto us a child is born, a son is given, the government shall be upon his shoulder, the name shall be called one of the counsel of the mighty God, the everlasting father, the prince of peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. No end. He said, you utilize that scripture to uh, say that Jesus was the mighty God. But the Bible didn't say that. He said he shall be called that. Oh, he left his number. I called him back. Mm -hmm. I asked him one question. I said, what Isaiah called him. Mm -hmm. Did Isaiah tell the truth? 
Or did Isaiah lie what he called him? <laughs> Amen. Called him that. I say when Isaiah called him, called him the mighty God, the mighty God. When he called him that, did he tell the truth? Amen. And I asked how many how many mighty gods is it? Right. He said one. I said, well, Isaiah called him the mighty God. The mighty and Isaiah God. lied when he called him that. That's right. He hung the phone up on me. <laughs> Amen. Hmm? Wonderful. Amen. Amen. Oh, this thing is right. I don't care how you look at it. That's right. It's just right anyway. That's right. And it's strong in the earth. Oh, yes. Amen. These men that used to believe in one God now picking up two, two and three, three, and four, and five, and they think if they do this, it'll bring in more members. But I'm telling you right now, oh, yeah. to all viewers, don't you know when you've been taught that there's one God for years, and then you turn your back and denounce it, you can't say you've done it ignorantly, yeah, because yeah. when you do it, you a blasphemy. blasphemy. That's yeah. right. That's right. Right then you ruin your chance for eternity with God. That's right. Huh? Yeah. That's right. You blaspheme. Blasphemy. Bible says in Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God. The Lord. You see our. Our God. See, we that have the God of Israel, our God. Our God. Ours. That's right. How many do we have? The Lord our God is one Lord. The Lord our God is what? The Lord our God is one Lord. That's right. That's right. How many laws do we have? One Lord. Yes. How one. many laws do we have? One, one Lord. Give me Philippians, I believe, 2 9. Amen. Good. How Philippians. many laws do we have? One Lord. Philippians, Philippians chapter I two, believe, two nine. at verse 9. What is it? Wherefore God also hath highly exalted yes. him and given him a name which is above every name. Yes. That at the name of Jesus uh -huh. every knee should bow every things in heaven. Every knee should bow to things in heaven. And things in earth. And things in and earth. And things under the earth. And things under the earth. And at verse 11. And, and what is it? And that every tongue. Every tongue. Should confess. Shall acknowledge. That Jesus Christ. Who is it? Is Lord. Yes. And what did the Old Testament say? The Lord our God is one Lord. The Lord our God is how many? Is one Lord. And what did Paul say? And that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You only got one Lord. One Lord. That's right. And Psalms 100 and verse 3. That's what? Know ye that the Lord. Do you know him? Amen. Do you know who the Lord is? That's right. Who did the Bible say the Lord is? Know ye that the Lord, yes. he is God. Who is the Lord? He is God. All right, let's see the Lord talk in Revelation 1, 7 and 1, 8. Revelation chapter 1, verses 7 and verse 8. Says what? Behold, he cometh with clouds. Wait, 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 wait. That's right. What did it say? Behold, he cometh with clouds. Who? He cometh with clouds. Give me Thessalonians to hold that he. Amen. Hold that he hold that's that coming he. with clouds. <laughs> that's right. So we can see what Paul says. In the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and we'll start at verse 15. That's what? For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, what is it? that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord yes. shall not prevent them which are asleep. What happened? For the Lord himself. The Lord himself. No, he got two more with him. For the Lord himself. Oh, no, a trinity is coming back. For the Lord himself. Two more with him. The Lord himself. No, they themselves. The Lord himself. The Lord himself. Shall descend from shall heaven. Shall descend from with heaven. With a shout. With a shout. With the voice of the archangel. With the voice of an archangel. And with the trump of God. With the trump of God. And the dead in Christ Listen. shall rise and first. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain. Shall what? Shall be caught up together with them in the cloud. To do what? To meet the Lord. To meet who? To meet the Lord. To meet who? To meet the Lord. Where? In the air. Go back to Revelation 1, 7. Back in Revelation 1 and verse 7. What did he say? The Behold, he cometh with clouds. Hallelujah. And it's talking about Jesus. That's right. He cometh with clouds. He cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him. Every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him. Talking about Jesus. And all kings of the earth. And they that pierced him and all the kings of the earth shall well shall because well. of him. Because of him. Look, he, at the, look at what the Lord said. I am Alpha. At verse 8. 
I am Alpha. Jesus, Jesus talking. I am Alpha. The Lord's talking. That's right. I am Alpha. And Omega. Does you mean I'm the beginning of all things and I'm the ending of all things? The beginning. I'm the beginning. And the ending. And the ending. Saith the Lord. Who said it? The Lord. Who's talking? The Lord. Who's coming in the clouds? The Lord. Who's our Savior? The Lord. What did the Lord say about himself? Which is. Which is. And which was. And was. And which is to come. What did God declare himself to be? The Almighty. Almighty. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus Christ is God. Almighty God. Hallelujah. So when the Bible says Jesus standing on the right hand of God, he ain't standing on the right hand of another. No, no. He is God. That's right. He the Stephen saw Jesus standing That's right. in that glorified state. That's it. And then told you who he was looking at. Now hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, stiff necks. You pastor, just read Acts 7 55. 55. But he don't let you keep reading. That's right. Listen at this. Acts chapter 7, we'll start at verse 55. Follow me. But he being full of the Holy Ghost. That's what the preachers don't have. That's right. They got a bunch of change in their pocket, but they ain't got the Holy Ghost. That's right. He being full of the Spirit of God. Looked up steadfastly into heaven. Now you think I'm going to believe you. You can't even see around the corner. That's right. I'm going to believe the man that looked into heaven. That's right. You can't even see across the street. Amen. You can't even see it from your bedroom downstairs. That's right. What fool will look at you and believe what you said, but a fool like you. That's right. Huh? But he being full of the Holy Ghost. He being full of the Holy Ghost. Look up, look looked up steadfastly, steadfastly into heaven. Steadfastly into heaven. And saw the glory of God. Wait. The glory of God is the function of God or the handiwork of God or the appearance of God. That's right. He saw the presence of God. And, and, Jesus, and Jesus standing where on the right hand of God. That's exactly where they stop. Where they stop. And right then they say, Jesus is on his right hand. It mean what it said. No, it don't. No, it don't. Because the Bible addressed Jesus as God. That's right. And what you going to say? Jesus on the right hand of another God? Another God. Or God is there and God is there? No. Oh, no. You see, verse 55, and you take it literal. Right. And I hear, hear Pastor Jennings, I dare any preacher. Or church member that come on in here and prove to me that Jesus is literally standing, standing. on the right hand of someone else. That's right. Because <laughs> then I'm going to ask you one question. one question. Is Jesus Christ God? Yeah. And if you say no, I'm going to make you a liar there. That's and if right. you say yes, then I'm going to ask you how is one God standing with another? You got two gods now. That's right. See, you, you, you went as far as verse 55. 55. I'm able to go further than that. That's right. And I'm going to show you in that same chapter right. who was Stephen looking at. That's right. And who was he calling on. That's right. Here the old troublemaker now. And said, Behold, I see the heavens open. I see the heavens open. And the Son of Man. You see, you can bring me all the scriptures you want. I won't dodge none of them. <laughs> That's right. Or say, God, I dive into them like a pig in slop. That's right. And, and just slop all around in the scriptures. That's and right. come out and put it together right. That's right. Amen. When you look at it with logic. Oh, you see that? Jesus, right hand of God. Right. When you look at it logically, logically. you're going to make a mess. Oh, yes. That's why you have to have the mystery of God to look at the things of God. That's right. Because you got to go back to the scripture that says right. there's no God with him. With him. And yet Jesus is on his right hand. That's right. But there's no God, no with, God him. with him. And yet Jesus is on his right hand. That's right. And according to the Bible, Jesus Christ was God. That's for right. he, the Bible says he's Emmanuel being interpreted. God with us. God with us. That's right. That's right. That's what the Bible says. That's right. He's Emmanuel being interpreted. God, with, God us. with us. So the God that was with us was seen in heaven standing on the right hand of God. Mm. 
Amen. Come jump on me. Yeah. That's right. Any place, any time. Amen. Bring your scripture. Right. Don't you know this Bible is given to me? <laughs> yes, it is. To take a part. That's right. None of your scriptures is difficult to me. That's right. Not at all. Amen. Oh, with the God, I got mine like Paul said he got his. That's right. I got it by revelation. By revelation. Jesus is Emmanuel. That's right. Being interpreted God with, God us. with us. That's right. God who was Christ, right. was seen standing right. on the right hand of, right God. Hand of God. Was that literal? Mm. Because if it's going to be literal, that make the prophets a lie. That's right. For God says, That's right. there's no God with no me. No God with me. And yet the Bible says Jesus standing is the, on the Almighty. Right. right. Jesus said it. That's right. Our mouth and our making the beginning, name the first and the last. Say if the Lord which is and was and is to come. The Almighty. The Almighty. Jesus admitted he's the Almighty. That's right. Now was the Almighty standing next to God? Mm. Come on, preachers. You think you're so deep? Come on. That's right. Just walk in on me with your two and three and four and five gods. Right. Amen. I beat your britches off with the Bible. That's right. Hey, I'm a singular God preacher. That's right. Challenging the entire world. That's right. And the wilderness of America <laughs> that bring me another God another that God. rivals Jehovah. Amen. Are you getting me? Go ahead, brother. Bring me another God. That's right. That rivals Jehovah. <laughs> you come on here. Amen. If you're an apostle, come on. If you're a prophet, come on. If you're a bishop or evangelist or elder, come on, you too. If you're an acting deacon next to a real deacon, both of y'all come. That's right. Come on. Come on. You don't need no invitation. No. Just walk in in any meeting with two gods. That's right. The challenge is out. Y'all can say what y'all want over social media now. Talk all you want. Gino Nicolius Jennings is challenging the two and three and the multi-god world. I stand on my God like the mm. prophets. Mm. Amen. The prophet Bellum said, behold, I shall see him, but not now. I shall look upon him, but not nigh. A star shall come out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corners of Moab, and destroy all the children of Zeph. Hallelujah. Balak took Balaam to another place, and wanted Balaam to cuss Israel. Cuss Israel. And, and he thought, if I change the environment, I can get Balaam to cuss, but it wouldn't do it. The Spirit Hallelujah. of God came on Balaam. That's right. He said, how shall I cuss whom God have not, not cursed? Cuss. How shall I defy whom God have not defied? Far from the top of the see rocks, him. I see him. Glory to God. And from the hills, I behold him. Yeah. He said, the people shall dwell alone and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob and them in the fourth part of Israel? Let me die. On, the death of the righteous. And let my last end. Go and take God. Be like his. Be like his. Be like his. Hey. The prophets always saw one. one God. That's right. Always. Every time God appeared, That's they right. always, saw one. always saw one. And who Stephen is looking at now, he see one. That's right. Make me prove it, preachers. Come on, make me prove it. Amen. Will you please make me prove it? <laughs> Listen at this. Acts 7 and verse 55. Parliament. But he being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven. Some of you people write me in court epistle of John. I believe uh, 370, yeah, three, they've been reckoned in heaven, Father, Word, and Holy Ghost, Lord, near 301. I believe that. Right. Father is God, Word is the speech of God, and the Holy Ghost is the, attrib uh, is the attribute of God. God. All that's just simply one that's God. That's right. Many functions. He's Father, how? By creation. He created everything. Right. He's Word because he spoke everything into existence. Let, let there be light. That's right. And, and then the Word was made flesh. He used speech to bring the non-existence into existence. That's right. He's also function Holy Ghost. What you mean? He's a comfort and keeper of the church. That's right. Come on, James. Many functions. Many functions. Or it's a God by this one. That's right. Three that bear record in heaven, Father, Word, Word and Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. And these three are one. I dare you tell me three persons there. That's I right. I make you read it. That's right. That's right. Amen. You know, you Trinitarians have made podcasts and videos all about Pastor Jennings preaching this one. Why don't you stop doing that internet cheap talk and come on in here? Amen. I said there's one God and I challenge the world Amen. with it. The whole world. I don't care if you're black, white, Arab, Hispanic. I don't care. That's right. Your level of education, I challenge the world. That's right. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We are being Greensboro at the convention center this week coming. If you're going to come, we ain't got it right. We just walk in. Right. Right. Pull one of the brothers aside and say, look, I'm here to tell Pastor Prue to Pastor Jennings that there's two guards. Would you please let Pastor Jennings know I'm here? All right, we'll let you know you're here. Then, then, then it's on. That's right. That's then it's on. That's all. Come on, it's on. That's right. And remember, you got to give Bible that says there's two gods. That's right. Just like I'm able to read, there's one. There's one. You got to give Bible that say it. You can't. You can't make it out of that. No. Right. I want Bible that say it. That's right. How do I know I shouldn't steal? Because the Bible says thou shalt not steal. Right. How do you? I want to know there's two gods. I want Bible that says there's two gods. That's right. If, if it's not no problem. And you believe it, mm -hmm. you should be able to read it. That's right. If you believe it, read it. Read it. If you believe it, read it. Read it. That's right. I'm jump on Pastor Jennings. Call me arrogant. Call me boastful. Call me what you want. I, I'm very boastful about the God of my salvation. That's right. I boast about him being one. Oh, yeah. And I brag about he don't need no help. That's right. I brag about he have no rivals. I brag about God don't have a partner and no associates. No associates. Oh, I brag about That's it. right. I brag about he stretched off the heavens alone. alone. I brag about he spread and brought the earth by himself. That's right. I brag about he ride on the wings of the wind and walk among the cursus of heaven. That's right. I brag about he gave the sea her decree. Glory to God. That's Hallelujah. Right. I brag about it. <laughs> and I say like Paul, no man shall stop me from this boasting. This boasting. Hallelujah. I boast about my one God anywhere. That's right. Everywhere That's I right. walk in a dark alley. While the dogs are barking, let the dogs know it's one God. <laughs> they bark, roo, roo, one God. <laughs> roo, roo, one God. <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's it. Come on back. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. Come on back. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. All of you fake apostolic and Pentecostal and imitation holiness fakers. Yeah. You got more than one God. You are religious blasphemers. Blasphemers. You got more than one God. That's right. Of heaven and earth. That's right. You are religious blasphemers. Blasphemers. Hallelujah to God. That's right. All right, let's deal with this scripture, Acts 7 55. But he being full of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Full, hallelujah, full of the Holy Ghost. Looked up steadfastly into heaven. Looked steadfastly into heaven. And saw the glory of God. And saw God's glory. And Jesus standing on the right hand of God. And Jesus on God's right hand. And said, Behold, I see the heavens open. I see the heavens open. And the Son of Man standing on the and right the hand of, of God. the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. I believe that. Believe that. I believe that. That's right. But he ain't on the right hand of somebody else. No. That's right. We're going to show you who he was looking at. Then they cried and out. And we're going to show you who he going to call on. That's right. And watch how he opened it up, the mystery. That's right. Listen. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord. Yes. And cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet. Listen closely, whose, viewers. Whose name was Saul. Yes. We're at verse 59. Listen. And they stoned Stephen. What? And they, and they stoned Stephen. I got to go Logan on you. That's right. They stoned Stephen. Stephen. Calling. Calling. Upon God. Amen. Stephen was calling upon how many? Calling upon G-O-D. By what name? Saying, Lord Jesus. <coughs> This is after, after the vision came. But he being I saw the, Jesus standing, standing on the right hand of on God. On the right hand of God. And they but stoned. the spirit wasn't done with Stephen. That's right. Wow, he was being stoned. That's right. He was stealing the spirit. That's right. And God didn't want the world to be left hanging. That's right. Second, it was two up there. That's right. Because he said, Thou shall have. No other God before me. That's right. For I, the Lord, your God. That's right. Am a jealous God. That's right. 
And they stoned Stephen. They stoned Stephen. <laughs> calling upon God. Calling upon how many? Calling upon God. G -O -D. And what did he say? And saying, Lord Jesus. He called who? Calling upon God. By what name? Lord Jesus. Now, I dare you to tell me he called on too. <laughs> Amen. They stoned Stephen calling upon God. They call, he called on God. And sang Lord Jesus. If Jesus Christ wasn't God, what would he call him that? That's right. That's right. That's right. This is after it's written. I see Jesus standing on the right hand of God. That's right. The blind men that lead the blind say this too. That's right. Literal. Jesus standing next to God. Next Come to God. Me. Come on. Stephen let you know, oh, I don't see that. They stoned Stephen calling upon God. I'm going to call on one. Saying, Lord Jesus. And the one I see is God. Lord Jesus. And that's the one I'm going to call on. That's right. You didn't get the mystery. That's right. Right hand don't mean literal. No. Right hand mean power. That's right. He saw Jesus standing in the power of his might. That's it. And the glorified state. That's it. That's uh, what that means. That's it. When he come on back the third day, he was so a natural body. Came on up spiritual. That's right. Took that glorified body and took it into took eternity. It into eternity. Wasn't standing literally on the right hand of somebody else. No, no. He was so God. That's it. And then he called God by name. Saying, Lord Jesus. And he saw the form, the shape, the fashion, and the figure That's that right. God used to redeem us. That's right. That's right. So he said what? Saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He called on who? Calling upon God. He called on who? Calling upon God. Tell me he called on too. Amen. Calling upon G-O-D. I slap you in the mouth with Bible. That's right. That's right. I said I slap you in the mouth with Bible. I rearrange your jaw with Bible. With the Bible. That's right. I'm not just talking. I mean what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. I thank God how this message is waking Trinitarians up by the hundreds. That's right. Thousands of letters is pouring in. Thank God I was in Johannesburg, Africa, an old woman. About in her 80s, mm -hmm. came to me crying. She said, all my life, I was told there was three. Mm -hmm. She said, and then when I heard you, I understand that Jesus Christ was God. She said, I stood up and yelled, there's one God. That's right. She said, she started clapping. There's one God. Hallelujah. That's right. Hey! Amen. Amen. Only heathens and pagans. Pagans. Believe in three that and two good. and four. That's right. You bunch of heathens. Come get Pastor Jennings. Amen. Hey Amen. You shouldn't take this lying down or standing up. Come get Pastor Jennings. That's right. I preach as one God, and anybody that preaches more than one is a heathen, a liar, an infidel, and a representative of all the pits of hell. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. Hey Amen. Amen. I stand boldly on my one God. That's right. Huh? That's right. Listen at this again. And they, back in Acts chapter 7 and verse 55. The 59th verse clears up. Acts chapter verse 55 and verse 60, 56. It clears it up. That's right. Just like Genesis 127 clears up Genesis 126. That's right. Give me to Genesis 126. Genesis chapter 1 and at verse 26. That's another scripture they read out of stupidity and sheer <laughs> ignorance. That's trying right. to make God more than one, you infidel. In, that's right. You bunch of infidel, you Christmas heathen. <laughs> Amen. Hear this. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. What is it? And God said, let us. Ah, uh, you see that? Amen. Let us. Let us make man. God offset him. Oh, that's right. Oh, God offset man. That's he offset right. that colonel mine. Amen. That colonel mine read that and went running. Went running. Huh? That's right. Spiritual mind read that and took his time. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. Glory to God, did you hear this? And God said, let us. God says. Let us make man in let our us image. Make man. In our image. In our image. After our life. Look at, he used us. He used our. Use us. Use oh, our. That's yeah. right. Speaking as if it's more than one. That's right. Amen. Manifesting what Paul will say later. Mm -hmm. There are diversity of operations, operations. But by the same L-O-R-D. That's right. 
Right. Same Lord. That's right. You see, they can't make the Bible harmonize. No. They get stuck on one scripture and say, it means what it says. It means what it says. No. All, right. All right. Notice. Genesis 1, 26. Sound like it's more than one. That's right. Yeah. All you got to do is drop your eyes down to verse 27. Genesis, and it'll tell you how many made man. Genesis 1 and verse 27. Yes. So God created oh. man. Oh. So G-O-D did it? So G-O-D created man in his own image. No. If he said us and now he got some others up there that he want to get their image included. God created man in his own image. You see, your eyes stop short at verse 26. They put skid marks in your head. <laughs> That's right. You saw Genesis 1, 26. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Jump down and start jumping and shout. More than one. More, more than, than one. one. More. You're infidel. In, that's right. Put your seat belt on and let your eyes drop down to verse 27. So which God. Will, which will clear up. That's right. Verse 26. So God created man. Who did it? God created man. How? In, in his own image. Just one image. In the image of God created he him. Oh. In the image of who? In the image of God created he him. So these are passages of scriptures, viewers that blind men uh, use to try to pluralize the Godhead. Yeah. And when these That's men right. use these scriptures, that lets you know God didn't send none of them. That's right. Because every God sent man whom God spoke to, he preached one, one. he knows it's one, and he associate none with that one. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go back. First Epistle of John 1, 15, quickly. <laughs> back in 1 Stop John. Knock off. Back in 1 John oh, chapter 2. This is Holy Ghost persuasion, oh, and I want to say to all of you that are commenting and fighting, yes. you can quote all the scriptures you like. Bring them to me in person. Mm. Right, that's right. Bring me the scriptures in person. If you don't do it, get your bishop to do it. That's right. Amen. Get your bishop to do it. Get your so-called Jerry Curl head reverend. Yeah. Amen. And your transvestite elder. <laughs> you get them and see if I don't take the Bible passage. Come Genesis declaring to the world that I will sweep creation <laughs> with right. one God. That's right, with a big broom, <laughs> Pastor. I said I sweep, hallelujah, That's I right. sweep creation That's right. with one God. Amen. Amen. Ain't no one living can defeat my one God. Mm -mm. Think of it. Amen. Here's this one fella about 170 pounds telling the world <laughs> that ain't nobody can beat my one God. That's right. No. Nobody. No. His father yes. in creation. In creation. His flesh had the title son, and he got in that flesh to redeem us. That's right. He bears the title Holy Ghost because he know we need to be comforted and kept. That's right. He bears the title healer because we, he comes to our rescue. Oh, yes. He bears the title provider because we, he see that we are in need. That's right. That's right. Many, hallelujah, operations. many operations by this one. Right. So you viewers that's on social media yelling now, hollering now, quote all the scriptures you want. Just come show up in person. That's yeah. so all you got to do. And I'm going to give you the worst beating I will outbeat nice. you than your mama and daddy did to you. That's right. If you think I'm talking, just walk in. Yeah. If you believe it, you should be able to read it. Yeah. You believe it's two gods? Read the scripture that said. Now that shows your stupidity. Yes. Because if you can't even see a scripture, not one that says one. there's two gods, why would you go around saying it? That's right. If you don't see a scripture that says there are three distinct persons in the Godhead, why would you say it? Amen. If you say it so boldly, then read it with just as much confidence where the Bible said it. That's right. Whatsoever things that are written. A full time is written for our learning. Yeah. I'm able to say, oh, ain't no, ain't no God with them. No and God. I can read it. You can read it. I'm able to say, ain't no God besides him. him. I can read it. That's right. I'm able to say, Jesus is the Savior. Yeah. And I can read you it. Can read it. I'm able to say, the Lord declared himself to be the Almighty, Almighty. And I'm able to tell you who the Lord is and read it. And read it. Wonderful. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Hallelujah. That's what makes the truth of God so outstanding. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And that's why you find souls coming in that's right. out of Jerusalem and Israel and Damascus and the United Arab Emirates and all across the Asiatic world, waking all across Africa, mm -hmm. where all this Trinitarian junk is being preached for hundreds of years. 
Glory to God, but they're waking up now. That's right. I mean, I've got thousands of letters from thousands of multi-God believers. Mm. You can hear them comment on social media. Thank you for opening my eyes. Yeah. I know there's one God. Oh, yes. And you can hear fighters on there just trying to bring Bibles. Jesus said, I and my father. I and my father are one. Are one. That's two. Two what? <laughs> two what? Come on, Jay. Huh? See, right. when they bring scripture like that, that's when I put the sleeper hole on you. <laughs> that's right. Hey. I, put, I put the scripture here and put the scripture there and then lock it. Lock it. Two what? Huh? Come that's here, right. ready. Huh? When you come, I and my father and my father are one. Right then, I get you. Don't hurt me. To what? Don't to, hurt what? Me. to what? Nine. To what? To what? That's right. He gotta tap out. He gotta tap out. Because if you say it's two gods, you add it to the Bible. That's right. Because the Bible says, don't add, don't add and don't take away. That's right. In plain terms from the hood, I'll bust you up with Bible. That's right. I do it. That's and right. I do a complete job. I'm declaring that everybody that go to any religious setting, any church, that preaches more than one God, you are a member of a false church. Oh, yes. Following a false prophet, following a liar. Oh, yes. Who couldn't protect that two, three, four, five, six God religion. If I was going to put him in an electric chair, you have to turn old Sparky on. That's right. Imagine having two supervisors on duty the same day. Same time. And both of them trying to tell you to do something. You know how confused you will be? That's right. It's hard enough to obey one. Amen. Well, Pastor Jennings, we believe Jesus is the Savior. So do I. So do I. So what is God? Is God the Savior too? I dare you to tell me he isn't. Right. That's right. I dare you to tell me he isn't. That's right. Amen. Go ahead. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, son, read quick. 1 John chapter 2 at verse 14. Read fast. I have written unto you fathers because ye have known him that is from the beginning. Yes. I have written unto you young men because ye are strong. Strong. That's and what got us standing. Oh, yes. If you take note, ever since Lucifer was cast out of heaven, his prime mission had been to belittle God. Right. So what did he do? He went all around the world and moved on men and women to start various religions. That's right. yeah. And all of those religions have one thing in common, yeah. to the belittlement of God. That's right. To try to take away God's greatness. greatness. 